guys, it's Jana, and in today's episode, we're doing something a little different. We're actually having a photography challenge, and we have some awesome contestants. Hi, I'm Carly, and today I'm going to be shooting with my iPhone X. I love photography because it's a unique way to show your perspective of the world and to share your image. Hi, I'm June, and I'm going to be shooting with a Nikon camera, and I enjoy photography because you can show your own creativity through your unique perspective. My name is Micah, I'm going to be shooting with a Canon, and I got into photography because I just see these little hidden beauties in the world, and I thought I could show them to the world if I wanted to. Hey, I'm William. I'm going to be shooting with a Nikon. I got into photography because I feel like it's a great way to express myself. We're going to pair them up and uh, they're going to take turns photographing each other and modeling for each other. So Micah, I love his shirt. He's got a shirt with roses on, and he's like, uh, he really wants a picture. Like, you can explain it. Like, I was thinking a picture with the plants with um, my arms up to show the roses, so that it's kind of like I'm blending it with the plants. I think it would do good in front of some vines or some other plants around this backyard. So I love that he's got those roses, and he's just got this, like, thing going on. So. It's almost like he just put himself in the middle of all these plants, you know? So are you happy with these shots? Oh, totally. I like all of them. This one looks a bit too, you know, exaggerated, I feel. But the rest of them are actually really, like, well taken, though. William's shoes are black and white. And this is more black and white, and I feel like if it was just like a picture of like the shoes in front of like the black and white um, area, it'd be cool. Jenna, yeah. could you I'm help here. us with um, overexposed? Just, the stuff. way you were directing was amazing, but um, yeah, so these are overexposed. Let me just see what your settings are. So you have your ISO on auto, which is totally cool and smart. I love that your aperture's at 5.6 because you want to get everything with shoes, everything in focus. The shutter speed's 1 over 13th, which, which is letting way too much light in. So watch this. You see this thing right here? This is your meter. When you look through your camera, you can see this. Yes. So when this gets to the middle, that's perfectly exposed. And if you make the choice that you want it to be a little it's brighter. darker, it's on this negative totally. spectrum. Exactly. Like, yes. And that happens after you press halfway down here. So then you're gonna start metering. Does that oh, make sense? Okay. So let's go see what the girls are up to. So I'm dying to see what location the girls chose and to see if it's like similar or different from the guys or why they chose it. So one of my favorite things with the guys just now is watching them pose each other. I really felt like it was really fun for me to watch. It was really cool. And I'm, ex I'm really excited to see everybody's shot. This is cool. I like this location. It's very cool. We have been shooting oh, that's gorgeous. pretty candid pictures yeah. with some interesting shadowing. And, and the lighting that. was pretty unique, like how it looked. Yeah. yeah, I love this. this. We were curious about what you're looking for in street style. What yeah. you find street style? Street style like traditionally means more candid, right? So like you could be walking on the street and find like a really candid moment, but I think more these days we use street style to like, you know, inspire people with our outfits and looks and vibes and feelings and our expressions. One little tip for street style that I think is really fun is to get like some hair in the face. So they could be walking across the street or walking really fast past you and like if the hair is blowing or something, I like that. But it all depends on the outfit and, right. and the look, so. So I'm super excited about this because when you set Carly down here, I was like, oh, cool. There's a beautiful white wall here that you can use as a natural reflector. So um, I would love to see you use that wall to reflect Carly's eyes, you know? So then you would actually have her turn towards that wall and know that that is your big light source and your eyes are gonna be like so glowy and beautiful. Look how pretty your eyes look though. I know, these look so much better because of the lack of shadows. Yeah, and your hair looks super golden now because yeah. it's like super bright on your face. These look awesome. So we wrapped the shoot and I'm just curious about some challenges you guys faced and the things that you enjoyed most about shooting today. I haven't done photography in like a moment, so I didn't like um, remember how to do a bunch of things, like how to make sure the pictures weren't that bright. And with help from Jana, I did um, remember like everything. I did have a lot of fun. I really enjoyed shooting out today with Micah and one of the challenges I thought was with the clouds, if you're in the sun, you go from light to dark or dark to light. Um, I enjoyed shooting Micah on stairs or out in front of an interesting wall. 
I thought it was really cool seeing what big a difference lighting makes and the little switch of position can like make the whole difference of the picture. And it was really fun shooting my friend Carly and getting to really like light up her eyes and her hair. And I thought it was really interesting figuring out how shadows can affect a picture a lot and like June said, um, changing positions and trying to get the perfect lighting and natural lighting, which is really important for a picture. But other than that, I thought it was such a fun experience and I really enjoyed shooting June and being a model too. Awesome, well that's a wrap you guys. Thanks so much for watching and let us know in the comments below any other challenges that you'd like to see us tackle. And until next time, stay inspired. Bye. Bye.